All right, good morning. We have some queens in the house. Um, yes, I'm going to be talking to the winner and first and second runners up, Miss Malaika 2023. The beautiful ladies are already seated. Let's get to know them a bit more. And then also, what projects are they going to be championing now that they have been named queens? And so, right opposite me, I have the winner seated. She goes by the name Lady and then to my immediate right I have the second runner up Farida and then to my extreme right I have the first runner up Enyam now her, her name stands out to me it's Ewe it means he knows me right initially it didn't click but then when she when she mentioned the name and then explained it, I'm like yeah that's actually a unique name because I haven't heard that before let's get talking to the Queens hello ladies hi good morning good, good morning. morning how are y'all doing you're yeah, okay. you. <laughs> you're, you're, you're all very beautiful. Thank I can you. understand Thank why you why you've been crowned queens. I mean, <laughs> it, it's only right that you are crowned queens, right? Yeah. But um, let's talk about your journey to Miss Malaika okay. and what prompted you to start. Um, let me just start with the queen lady. <laughs> it has been an incredible journey. My journey started from Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the Target Queen edition. And so once you are selected on Instagram, you automatically qualify to the semi-final auditions. Yeah. And so I was selected through the um, Target okay. Queen and after okay. straight to the semi-final auditions. And then I made it. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah. That's, that's quite easy, isn't it? I mean, um, for you, you had, because from the Target Queen and then you coming to win, Right, imagine yeah. you didn't, you didn't um, get in as a target queen point. That means that you probably wouldn't have had you as queen this year. Yeah, so that was true. quite easy for you. Yeah. And Yam, how was, how was the journey like for you? Well, I went for the open call audition. Okay. And it was quite impromptu. So I got there like almost 10 p.m. We're supposed to be there at 9. When I got there... 10 p.m.? 10 a.m. A.m., okay, okay. When I got there... Oh my God, there are so many beautiful ladies in Ghana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot, I agree. Yeah. And everybody was sitting there poised, ready for like the auditions. And at that point, I was thinking to myself, did I want to actually do this? Mm -hmm. But then I did. I went in for the auditions and I was contacted, I think, a week after. Yeah. And then I made it through to the semi-final auditions. And fast forward, here we are. Here you oh, are. Yeah. Farida, take me through your journey. <laughs> Okay, so I also went for the open call. Okay. And it was also impromptu because uh -huh. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go this year or I should just go the next year. Right. And I also went and I was called a week later that we should come for the grooming session and then we went for the semi final. Okay. How yeah. was the feeling like when you were called to, you know, come for the semi finals? Because uh, I understand that, like Enyam said, there are so many, so many beautiful women in Ghana and from Ghana, right? Yeah. So yes. to be called, that's like some elation. <laughs> I mean, if I were to be a part of it, I'll jump, I'll shout, <laughs> I'll scream. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, share with me how the feeling was like. It was great. So for, for hours, once you qualify to the semi-final auditions and you are through the auditions, you are supposed to vote. You are supposed to get your people to vote. Mm -hmm. So it makes 50% of your qualifications right. and then 50 percent what you did during auditions mm -hmm. and so i got my people to vote i think that also helped me a lot it pushed me yeah so it was a great feeling okay. i was excited Farida. that i got How through it? it well when i received the call i was really happy because like i said as i said i wasn't really ready mm -hmm. so i felt like i had a chance yeah. so for the next time I was preparing, I was like getting into it because I really wanted to make it fine in the competition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Enyam. All right. So you've already come into the competition, right? How would you say, um, you know, it was for you like bonding with other ladies? You know, it's unfortunate, but I understand that when there are so many girls, I don't support that, that when there are so many girls, there should be squabbles, but it does <laughs> happen, right? How did you maneuver your way through to the final week? How was it like also bonding with other girls as well? 
Okay, so for our season, for instance, mm -hmm. we were 45 ladies and I was the last. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I remember at the semi-final auditions, we were, loads, we were like about 60, 70, 80, I don't remember. But even there, because you don't know who's going to be in a competition, you just sit around and just say hi to a lady or two. Mm -hmm. And we became 45. Then we went to finishing school, we're 28. There, we were just bonding because we were all there for like two to three days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we I shared rooms. We shared rooms. Okay. Yeah. And you cannot afford, it's not like you're pretending, but <laughs> you cannot afford to be rude or be anything because right. you don't know who you're even going to be paired up with. You mentioned yes. finishing school. Is that like a camp? Yes. yes. Okay. Okay. So okay. The okay. grooming camp. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's where they, they, taught us how, they taught us how to say, to talk. eat, talk. do everything. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, in finishing school, yeah. um, lady, what, what was that thing that you didn't know that finishing school or Malaika or the grooming process taught you? Um, they organized sessions. Yeah. We had the photography, we had the Make skincare, communication. we had the makeup, communication. and then the communication class. Fashion. Yeah, and the fashion. I think I would, I would say the skincare. Okay. Why is that? We, le we learned how to make our own body scrubs. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. It was it's fun. actually really nice because <laughs> yeah. then yeah. one way or the other, if you should take that seriously, that's also a way that you yeah. can yeah. create you know, yes. your own your business. Own, yeah. So that's actually really nice. Yeah, okay. using sugar, lime, honey, coffee, yeah. and what else? I think there was one that we use oatmeal. Yeah, oatmeal. Yeah, the oatmeal yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. It was a very okay. nice experience. Now, that excites me. Which which one of you is going to take that as a business? Skincare product. It's going Sorry, to be Sorry. me. And I'm going to that you stray. Why is that though? Share that with me. Okay, so I already sell skincare products. Okay. And like hair products. Okay. But Making your own scraps and all of that. Okay, I'll, I'll think about it. Okay. You should. You never you, know. would you, over the top of your head, do you know how you'd want to call that? Like your skincare brand. Beauty. What do you say? Cece Beauty. Cece. Cece. Can you spell that for me? C-E-E-S-E-Y. C-E-E-S-E-Y. What does that mean? Lida. Lida. Okay, Ooh. in what language? Kotokoli. Kotokoli. Okay, Cece Beauty. I like yeah. that. It'll be yeah. very like, original. So I'm yeah. looking forward to that. Okay. I'm rooting for you. Okay. Thank you. So don't, don't disappoint. <laughs> don't disappoint any of us. I'll send you free scrubs. Please do. I'm, I'm a skincare junkie yeah, myself. So, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm big on skincare because I feel like you, you only have this skin to live in yeah. for the rest of your life. So you, you need to take you, care, you need to take care mm -hmm. of it. Exactly, lady. You need to take care of it. So I'm rooting for you whenever okay. it is. You can just walk in here and find me. Okay. Right? I will. All right. <laughs> so now um, now that the competition is done, I mean, you you, you ladies were crowned um, about two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, after, how has it been like for you? Your newfound fame, <laughs> um, you know, now you're a queen, right? Are you demanding to be treated as that? Are your friends and families treating you as that? Because it's different, right? If you are in yeah, the competition, so I know that, oh, there's a possibility you're not even going to become queen. Yeah. But now, they don't even have a choice. Yeah. But yeah, how has um, post-competition and your win been? I'll start with you. So I'm going to use just one of our events we did last week. Okay. So Ladies Project is on HIV awareness. Okay, which we'll dig into the project really soon. <laughs> yeah. And we went for the World AIDS Day mm -hmm. and we met so many students and that's when I knew that, okay, this is and real. This really big. <laughs> <laughs> they knew our names. Everybody Aww, wanted to take a picture nice. with us. They're like, Enyam, Lady, Farida, you guys don't even reply our messages. I'm like, you've been texting me? <laughs> <laughs> and I was actually surprised because there are some days you think that oh, it's just a select few who watch it. Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't think that there are actually a lot of people watching. Mm -hmm. And I understand that it's a national pageant and everything, but it doesn't hit you until you're done. Right. Yeah. There yeah. are so many people saying that, oh, they like that during the competition. Mm -hmm. Even yesterday, I went somewhere. Somebody's like, oh, I like the way you were talking. I like the way you were acting in the competition. I was like, were you watching it? <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's nice. You, you don't think that you... 
there's some days I just want to feel the way that I was before. Before, but now I'm more skeptical about the way I do certain things. Right, yeah. you have to be conscious. So, so lady, how how do you say your consciousness about yourself, your environment, your look has peaked um, since you won? Um, before I was, I I'll say reserved. I was a very reserved person. Mm -hmm. I was always in my own space. Mm -hmm. But now I feel there's a need to go out there because people are looking up to me. There are people who want to be like me. Mm -hmm. And so I need to just go out there and shine, give them the reason to believe in themselves, to do better. Because uh -huh. I never imagined I'll become queen. I mean, that was my wish. But right. I mean, <laughs> look at me now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bask in it and yeah. make the most of Out it of right it. Yeah. um i understand also that you know this pushes you into the limelight in a certain way that you probably yeah. could not have imagined but yeah. now that it's here you the best to thing to do it. exactly embrace it, it and make the most of it let's talk about your projects but i'll start with farida um on that right what projects are you going to be championing and then also what was that trigger for you to cater to it because what it is is with all of these projects is things that you relate to one yeah. way or the other or things that you are really really passionate about yeah. okay so on that night i spoke on the silent cry of women in the society okay mainly based on like people giving them pressure to get married and have children when mm -hmm. they are not ready but i didn't win so lady will be the one doing her project. Okay. So we'll be supporting lady with okay. her project. Yeah. So that's how it's gonna work. Oh, I, I thought I was also thinking that you know, aside supporting lady, you'd also get a chance to also veer into your different projects. I mean, even if not on the Malaika account, just you know. Yes, I think you can do side. that on the side, but then ladies on is very major, so I think so we'll have to tackle is going that. So everybody to rally behind ladies. Yes. Okay. All right. So then we'll, I'll come to lady. I'll come okay. to you on your project. But um, um, Aram, what 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 was it for you on the night as well? Your oh. passion point. Um, mine was about the maternal healthcare okay. system in Ghana, and. So maternal healthcare isn't just about maternal mortality. Mm -hmm. There's maternal mortality is death. Yeah, but that's Which just it. Death. Then there's morbidity. You might not die, but you might suffer complications yeah. from childbirth. And Which pregnancy. sometimes goes for years, right? Yeah. 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 And most people, I honestly didn't know about it until someone, spoke, a very very close person, spoke to me about it, and I was like, really? Then I went to research, and I, and I was actually sad mm -hmm. that these things could happen to us and for a woman like me I didn't know about it so I decided to add that to maternal mortality and okay. tackle create okay. awareness and also I had okay I'm not going to mention her name okay. but someone else close to me her child was sick for two weeks and when she went to the hospital she was asked to sleep on the floor oh. so that her child gets a bed Wow. And this is someone who had had cesarean operation. And it's difficult. Yeah. It's yeah. On a it's cold, difficult. hard floor. Not even on a blanket or anything. She had to bring everything herself. And that just tells the state of our maternal health care yeah. system. If yeah. the mother is sick, how can she take care of her of sick the child? child. Yeah. Oh, or even yeah. maybe even the health care system yeah. in general, yeah. right? But fingers crossed, I hope that I mean later in life you'll be able to champion the causes of yeah. your projects because then it's going to go beyond the duration of your queendom. Let me just put it that <laughs> way. So, yeah. lady, um, Enyam and Farida are going to be supporting you on oh, your project. Patience. So just share what your project is with us and then also why you decided to, you know, make that your project. Yeah, my project is on HIV. So it's to reawaken the awareness on HIV. Mm. You know, these days we don't even hear about HIV campaigns. We don't see the ads anymore. Yeah, like we don't before. see it mm -hmm. anymore. So people feel it's no longer in the system. But people die every single year. About 9,000 people die every single year. Which is a lot. Yes, yeah. it's a lot. So my campaign is called the Live On Campaign. So even if you have HIV, you can still live mm -hmm. on. And secondly, there's a self-testing kit that okay. people do not know about. It's just like the pregnancy kits. Mm -hmm. And with that, you would um, place an order. It would be delivered to you. You test 
and then you will send your results to a short code right. and you would be attended to by a nurse. Okay. When it turns out you are HIV negative, God is right. good. Yeah, mm -hmm. but then with that, you'll be given um, a pre-exposure prophylaxis. Mm -hmm. Yes, just What's in that? case. Um, it's a type of medication, okay. so pre-exposure. So let's say if you've been exposed, maybe in the case of rape, you are given that just in case to suppress the virus. Okay. Yes, yeah, so when it turns out you are positive, there's still hope. You are put on an antiretroviral medication. It's a type of medication given to HIV positives to enable you live longer, have HIV negative children, and also reduce your risk of infecting others. Right. So that's also part of my campaign. And also talk about the use of condoms. You oh. know, these days. <laughs> and now, I'll come to you on why you're smiling. But yeah, yeah. yeah you were the talking about the use of condoms. Of condoms. Mm -hmm. You know, these days, people like it born to bone, mm -hmm. skin, skin to skin, skin. Mm -hmm. and all mm -hmm. that. So the campaign is on the use of condoms, self-test kits, and to create awareness on HIV, basically. Okay, yeah. okay. that's nice. And um, you, you kept giggling and smiling. And why is that? Okay, so if you've not watched the finale uh-huh if not for anything please just watch lady speech okay right <laughs> you watch her wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait is, is that where i can get it because i want yeah to, on you, you okay house okay live. okay i'll check it then i'll check it <laughs> if it's not on it's, it's not, not in, in please. Yes. Yeah. Yes. i mean we used to get all of these campaigns yeah. you know several years back but i think that it's just a little muted than it was before now right yeah. so hopefully with this campaign with your live on campaign yeah. we are able to properly push the narrative and then after your one year or even beyond yeah. your one year you know you're still able to um stride oh and thrive God, yeah. in the campaign and then you know attain whatever vision you want to attain which i'm coming to you on what's the vision for the live on campaign um is to as i said earlier create awareness and the main goal is to mm -hmm. end hiv by 2030 okay that's the the aim in for the next all, seven years yes for the next okay. seven years and that's from the ghana aids commission okay. our main goal is to end hiv by 2030 or get people out of their shelves to get tested because there's still hope gone are the days where um, hiv was a death sentence mm -hmm. now when you come out you'll be attended to mm -hmm. yeah so that is it basically. okay that's nice that's nice Okay, so there's one thing that I've noticed with, you know, um, Miss Malaika, right? They always support the queens to enter into the media space, either as TV presenters or radio presenters, actors or, um, yeah, now actors. Now, they say that both male and female now is referred to as actors. So, yeah, yeah in, in that space as well. Um, which spaces would you want to get into? If you have the interest um, or if given the opportunity to be in media, what, what would you want to do? I've actually not thought of that. Oh. Have you? I haven't. You haven't? <laughs> and yeah. I actually have. Okay, what, what, what would it be for you? Um, either radio, TV or voice over artists radio yeah. tv of voice, voice over artists, artists. okay yeah. okay fingers crossed she's how, how are you working it. she's good at it yeah, yeah, she's good at working talking. towards that it's just a thought okay <laughs> so, so now we have to go through the process yeah. of grooming and then getting I'll the come job to you. you come to me yeah. Yeah. i'm always here listen like i'm a sister sister i say that all the time Aww. like i'm a woman's woman like yeah. i feel like it's the only way that you can you know push younger girls or even better. the older ones exactly just yeah. hold somebody's hands and climb the ladder with them so whenever i am here i'll yes, do that for you tomorrow and thank I'm you here. i'm here we start the show at 7 a.m so if you want to you can just come be here and watch how we do it we can start from there okay. why not right Wonderful. we can yeah we can definitely do that i'm i'm yeah. in on it i'm big on it okay. but before i let you ladies go um what what is that one thing that you'd want to say to your fans in and appreciating them for the journey because you know that you know the fun love is part of your yeah. journey to the now if not you would have fallen out of the competition you know weeks before you know the main the, the main night right so yeah. yeah just drop a message for your fans and then i'll let you schedule out yeah farida farida <laughs> let me start with you so i'd like to say a big thank you to my family my friends 
my colleagues and bosses at the Lands Commission, they really, really voted for me throughout the competition. So big thank you to all of you. Thank you. Okay. And yeah. Um, I would like to say, so I would, mine will be lengthy a little bit. Okay. <laughs> I was not on social media. Okay. I don't put myself out there. And people came through for me and I was actually surprised. That shows that when you're doing something, just start it. Mm -hmm. um, People come through. Don't think about it. who's going to talk to me, who's going to help me, who's going to just do it. So on that note, I'd like to say a big thank you to every single person, mm -hmm. my friends, my loved ones, people that I don't know that are still waiting for me. Say a big thank you for encouraging me and for supporting me throughout the journey. This year is for you. Mm -hmm. And to my bosses and colleagues at the Ghana Revenue Authority for their immense support and encouragement. Okay. Yes. All right. Yeah. So Lady. for me, my parents are like my biggest supporters. Mm -hmm. So on the day of the, I think two days before the finale, that was when I started feeling the heat because they mounted billboards all over the place. Mm -hmm. And it puts a little pressure on me. On you, okay. <laughs> I was like, how am I going to do this? Mm -hmm. Everyone is watching, you know. You are not always going to get people rooting for you positively. People right. are also hoping that it doesn't go well so they can get something to say. Right. But my parents were there on that day. That day when I mounted the stage, I saw a lot of people mm -hmm. holding my placards. Oh. And I was amazed because we were asked to sell tickets. No one actually walked to me to buy the ticket. So where Welcome were all, all these, these people? people? I love them so much and words cannot even express it. Yeah, so thank you whoever voted, whoever supported me with or without my knowledge. I love you so much and this is for you. I'm going to make you proud. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. the sound of that and, and how you are all very much, you know, grateful to everybody that supported yeah. you. That's a good start. Um, and then also best of luck on your journeys um, as queens, you know, um, as, you know, the, the shining light that you are. I'd love to see you attain whatever height that you want to attain. So you go, do great, stride in your queendom and just excel, right, as the queens that you are and then also bask in your purpose. So it's been nice having you. Farida is the second runner up, Miss Malaika 2023. We have Enyam first runner up, uh, Miss Malaika 2023. And then the queen lady herself <laughs> sitting with me on unpacking this morning. My name is Lenny Lomote, your international TV and radio presenter living in Ghana. At the moment, we are going to continue with the rest of the programming with Serial on Sports Direct. And then it's so far on Trending Live. And guess what? The big conversation definitely is on till 10 a.m if you're tuned in via 3 music tv or plus 89.9 .9 fm we definitely appreciate you bye bye